I'm speaking with Christiane Alawash. Yeah, you got it. Woohoo! <laughs> and you are the author of? It's a Living, Surviving as a Freelancer in the 21st Century. And I'm a professional artist of uh, 20 years. I started out in Canada and uh, by way of Las Vegas. I was in Las Vegas for three years. <laughs> That's a story there. And uh, now I live in New York. And all the while I've been a freelance artist and publisher. And so I've, I've published books. I've made like short films based on one of my graphic novels, which was a big boss gun for hire. And uh, I've been working as a freelancer, like helping other independent creators make their comics uh, dreams a reality. And uh, currently I'm uh, building uh, content for my online school, masterpieceartschool.com. Oh, that's great. Now, what made you decide to take that step? Well, I, actually, that one of the things that I was doing besides freelancing from the very beginning of my career was teaching. So I started teaching at a community center and uh, at local art schools up in Ottawa, Canada. And then uh, eventually I registered my own school, which was Masterpiece Art School, well, it was Masterpiece Art School .ca originally. Okay. And, uh, and then so I had a brick and mortar location. I ran like seasonal classes that were very popular before I moved. And then I, I moved it to online, just online classes for a while. And when the pandemic happened, every, every, there's a lot of stories now of like <laughs> entrepreneurs uh, and the pandemic and, and, um, and freelancers too. But uh, when the pandemic happened, I, I decided to focus more on uh, this business uh, and to kind of create more uh, purposeful content for it. So, you know, I have It's a Living. I have like uh, my previous graphic novels. I just finished uh, an illustrated book that's coming out September with an online course. It'll be, uh, it, it's uh, fun and easy cartooning techniques for drawing comics and manga. It's finished. It's really phenomenal. I can't say enough about it. It's not up now. But, uh, and then I'm working on a second book, a novel. Okay. That's also uh, kind of a follow-up to It's a Living. And uh, it's about a young artist uh, trying to find love and success. Really? Yep. So that's, that's kind of my story in a nutshell and the things that I'm kind of working on, which I'm very passionate about, yeah. Now, okay, so you're, you're building the content for this. Yeah. Currently, if people want to reach out to you, find out about what you have, look for your stuff, where do they go? MasterpieceArtSchool.com. I'm also on Instagram, Masterpiece Art School. And that's kind of the, the, the best thing. Uh, my, my online comic, which was Big Boss Comic, is on Instagram still. Okay. So I published it one panel at a time, five days a week, 13 months in a row, and then I had a graphic novel at the end. So that's still up on uh, at Big Boss Comic if you could read it for free still. And uh, but yeah, Masterpiece Art School is kind of what I'm focusing on, and I'm trying to uh, you know re rewrite the novel that I adapted. It's a long story because it's a process. I I wrote a screenplay, uh, and then uh, pandemic, and I adapted it to a novel, and now I I'm rewriting and editing the novel. So you know it's a separate separate hat I'm wearing as a creative. Excellent. Well, I want to say thank you so much for talking to Thanks, us. Thanks, Kate. Yeah, this is great. I'm, I'm happy to share, you know, my interests and, and hopefully people have, sh share similar ones. So that's absolutely, it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Check him out. Fox and I am here at the new and expanded home of Tresses and Colors at 1227 Montauk Highway in Oakdale and they are just preparing to celebrate 25 years in business and have recently won Best of Long Island. They are house to Sunny and Dew as well which is all natural skin care and hair products and boy, you can find anything you want here. So don't forget to shop local discounts and mention the Kate Fox Show for 25% off any hair service.
I am speaking with amazing Demon Boy. Yeah! And how have you been? I've been great. I mean, it's great to come back after the pandemic. I mean, two and a half, almost three years uh, for CradleCon to come back. And as you can see, it's a great turnout. We're having a fantastic day. The kids are fantastic. The cosplayers, the costumes, just having a blast. Well, it's, it's nice to see you out and about again. I said, oh my God, it's been, it's been, it's been years. And now you have a lot of merchandise with you. What do, yes. what do you have for everybody today? Well, we have uh, all three issues of the Demon Boy comic book. Issue number four is on the way. We have all brand new t-shirts with artwork done by J.J. Jackson, formerly of Marvel Comics. Worked for them for many years. You may see, have seen some of her work on Spider-Man and some of the other uh, uh, comic books. And she's been doing all the artwork. So we have a, a, an array of new artwork and t-shirts. Wow, and now, what have you been doing? I know you were touring a lot before everything shut yeah. down. What have you got going on in that front? Well, we, we just started playing again. Last month was our first show. We played with Doyle here in New York. Okay. Uh, so we're kicking off uh, our Curse of the Demon tour, which is going all this year. There'll be a lot more shows coming up in October and September, all through the Halloween season. And just check my social media, AmazingDemonBoy.com, for a show in your area. Other than that, I mean, we were working on issue number four of the comic okay. book. And just doing what everybody else did. I just sat from home and just tried to do the best I can from behind the uh, computer screen. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I got to say, it's nice to see you. It's nice to hear you. Yes. <laughs> and, Live. <laughs> and I'm sure we're going to see you around a lot. Oh, you're going to be seeing me a lot. Actually, I'll be at another show. I'll be at TropicCon in Long Island on August, I believe, 20th and 21st at the Hyatt Regency, newly renovated. Oh, wow. Right. Well, then we'll definitely see you there. We'll see you then, yeah. Well, thank you so much, Amazing Demon Boy. Great being on the show, Kate. Thank you, guys. Yeah.